Under the private sector, the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, the country's primary gateway, has greatly improved. But the project that most Filipinos are really looking forward to is the Numanila International Airport in Bulacan. This is a 736 billion investment by the Philippines' largest and most diversified conglomerate, San Miguel Corporation. The NMIA is the long-term solution to the growing demand for air travel in the country. The 76-year-old Naya has long been operating above its design capacity of 35 million passengers per year. In 2024, it served over 50 million passengers. Even with its ongoing upgrade, Naya can only accommodate up to 62 million passengers. Thus, completion of the NMIA is critical to meeting the growing need for air travel by Filipinos in the years and decades to come. Located on a 1,700 hectare property in Bulacan, just along the Manila Bay, it will be easily accessible from Metro Manila. Set to be operational by 2028, it will have an initial capacity of 40 million passengers per year. This will double to 80 million passengers by 2030 and can be expanded to over 100 million passengers beyond 2031. Its domestic and international terminals will cover 1.5 million square meters. It will be equipped with 200 passenger boarding bridges. With these, international and domestic connections will be seamless. The facilities will be powered by clean energy, utilizing solar and wind power. Another key feature, it will have aircraft overhauling facilities that can handle 500 engines per year. Once operational, NMIA is seen to generate as much as 100 million jobs all over the country. An economic zone, the airport site is seen to attract local and foreign business locators seeking to increase their competitiveness in the region. Beyond boosting economies in central Luzon, the airport will support regional development and tourism nationwide. To develop this engineering marvel, SMC has enlisted the help of international experts. Land development for the project continuously meets the strict standards of the International Finance Corporation. For social impacts, it has provided project-affected families compensation, housing assistance, and skills and livelihood training and job and business opportunities. For biodiversity, SMC has launched a first-of-its-kind biodiversity offset site to advance the protection of migratory birds while ensuring safety at the airport. To protect against flooding, SMC is implementing a comprehensive flood management plan. Key to this is the desilting and clean-up of three major river systems surrounding the airport that drain out to Manila Bay, in the process also improving flood mitigation for eastern Bulacan. On top of this, SMC has also cleaned up river systems all over the province. In size, scale, and technology, the NMIA will future-proof the Philippine economy for many to come decades. Best of all, no Filipino taxpayer or government money will be used or lent for its construction. San Miguel Corporation is fully shouldering the cost of its construction. At the same time, government will benefit from its share in the airport's revenues over the term of the concession period after which it assumes ownership. This is a win-win for the Filipino people. NMIA will be a showcase of the best that the Philippines can achieve and for Filipinos the world over, a source of national Filipino pride.